Hello everybody, it's General Gigan here, stopping back at you with another Minecraft video. In today's video, we're going over Thor in Legends 1.18.2, but before the video starts, only a small percentage of people are actually subscribed, so if you haven't liked the video, then consider subscribing. Let's start with the suits. Thor's suits are comic. 2011. Avengers. Avengers V2. Age of Ultron. Dark World. Battle Armor. Earth's Mightiest Heroes. Earth's Mightiest Heroes V2. God Pack. Heroes Reborn. Iconic. Incredible Hulk. Infinity War V1. Infinity War V2. Love and Thunder V1, 2, and V3. Mangaverse. Modern Age. Party Prince. Ragnarok V1 and V2, and Ultimate. Thor has 485 health, 150 stamina, and 200 mana, and his class is Block. He has Strength 14, Speed 7, Jump Boost 8, Flight 10 when holding Mjolnir, Fortitude 6, Mental Defense 2, Regeneration 2, Fire Resistance 2, and Lightning Resistance 1, which is how resistant you are to shock damage. Type 1 nullifies shock based on movement penalties, and Type 2 makes you completely immune to lightning bolts and movement penalties. He also has Piercing Resistance 3 and Self Sustenance 1. He is immune to poison and fall damage. Thor's utility is Summon Mjolnir. Call Mjolnir to you. Hold right click to swing and release to throw. The longer you swing, the more damage you'll do upon release with a max of 20. To know you're at max, you'll see the gust particles build on the floor. You are able to stun a target upon impact. When Mjolnir is thrown, you are able to control where it goes by moving your screen. You are also able to fly with Mjolnir by double tapping space to enter flight mode. When Mjolnir is dropped, you can press utility key again and it will fly back to you. You can also pick it up by right clicking. The MCU Thors do have a different Mjolnir than the others. Ability 1. Lightning Blast. Lightning Blast is a mana based move and its execution type is toggable. It costs 15 mana a second and deals 10 damage per hit and has a chance to slow down your target as you blast the stream of lightning at your target within a 50 meter range. Ability 2. Hammer Spin. Hammer Spin is a stamina and time based move. It costs 50 stamina and deals 4 damage per hit over a 3 second period. It has a cooldown of 5 seconds. Create a vortex in front of you by spinning your hammer, protecting yourself from incoming damage. Ability 2 is also a swappable move to Lightning Vortex. Lightning Vortex is a stamina and time based move that costs 15 stamina and deals 20 damage. It has a cooldown of 5 seconds as you spin forward, creating a vortex of lightning that shocks your foes. Ability 3 Lightning Strike. Lightning Strike is a mana and time based move that costs 14 mana and deals 10 damage over 3 seconds. Its range is 25 meters and has a cooldown of 5 seconds. Use Mjolnir to call down a bolt of lightning onto your position. Generating a wave that knocks back all nearby, has a 5% chance to stun all opponents out of an attack. Ability 4, Storm Striker. Storm Striker is a stamina and time based move that deals 10 damage and hits twice. It costs 20 stamina to use, its cooldown is 5 seconds. Slam your hammer against the ground, generating a small electrical shockwave. It also has a chance to knock your opponent out of the sky. Ability 4 is also a swappable move to Thunderstruck. Thunderstruck is a stamina and toggle based move. It costs 10 stamina per punch and deals plus a 10 attack damage per hit to your strength value as your target is struck by a jolt of aerotastic lightning generated from your punch. Ability 5 Warrior's Fury Warrior's Fury is a mana and toggle based move that deals 5 damage per hit and costs 5 mana a second. Its range is 5 meters. Enter an empowered state, discharging lightning from your body as you harness your esoteric nature. Reduces incoming damage by 14% while active. For all the Thor suits that have a helmet, their armor key is Toggle Helmet. Thor's ultimate is God of Thunder. Call forth the storm, raining a large concentrated blast of lightning upon your foes. It deals a total of 70 to 84 damage and has a cooldown of 60 seconds with a range of 50 meters. Thor does have a second ultimate, God Blast. Channel your godhood into a blast of lightning weakening all in your path. Use Divinity Points to increase the damage with a maximum of plus 35. Divinity is a meter Thor has in the top right of your screen. It will slowly increase over time, but is consumed whenever God Blast is fired. With a max Divinity, God Blast does 98 damage. God Blast has a cooldown of 60 seconds and has a range of 50 meters. Any Thor suit that has Stormbreaker has a slightly different moveset. When wearing a Thor of Stormbreaker, your utility becomes Summon Stormbreaker. Call Stormbreaker to you. Right click the throw, has a 10% chance to stun targets on impact and deals an additional 5 damage when empowered. Able to enter flight mode by double tapping space. 
When Stormbreaker is placed on the ground, you can press Utility Key to bring it back to you. You can also pick it up by right-clicking. Stormbreaker works the same way Mjolnir does when it comes to throwing it and controlling where it goes. Ability 2, Bifrost. Bifrost is a mana and time-based move that costs 50 mana and has a duration of 10 seconds with a cooldown of 30. Summon the Bifrost, temporarily whisking you from the battle. It deals 15 damage upon teleporting and returning to battle. The animation changes for Stormstriker with all the Thors that have Stormbreaker. It also shoots down lightning at the opponent. The Thors that have Stormbreaker have a different ult. Their ultimate is Weapon of a King. Hurl your axe at an opponent, stunning them on impact. It deals 100 damage and has a cooldown of 60 seconds. Also, certain MCU Thors have a move, Civilian Form, where you transform your armor into a simple set of civilian clothes. Hey guys, it's Legend's number one hater, back again to showcase Thor's shit-talking wheel. Here are all the soundboards that all non-MCU Thors have. You smell like trolls, but lack their courage. Odin's beard that felt good. A mighty victory! The God of Thunder cowers before no one. Finally. <laughs> a worthy opponent. Dare you challenge a god? Or Asgard! Wasn't that great? Now, all of the MCU Thors have a different set of voice lines. So let's take a listen. I am mighty. I accept your surrender. Who are you? Why should I care? I am Thor, son of Odin. As long as there is life in my breast, I am running out of things to say. You're all not worthy. We know each other. He's a friend from work. Finally, Thor Infinity War V2 has a custom line exclusive to him, and that is Bring Me Thanos. Well, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, consider subscribing for more content like this. It is the month of July now, which means the July update will be coming out relatively soon for Patreon to Tayo, which will include Superman, Thor, and also some new characters. With that being said, hoorah and epicness of awesomeness. Go to hell. Are you nuts? You can't take me. I'm full of surprises.